Hello graphic friends, Razmu is my name. Welcome back to the world's let's play of the world graphic one Unreal Engine. We are going to go and look out for the mine crawler nest because last time we ended up right in front of the gate, so we are going to see what the hey. Asgan is going to do to us. All preparations have been made. The gate can now be opened. Okay then. Open the shaft now. Let the show begin. So we can see that they already got a bound in. I'm curious if we can kill them from here and not lose too much experience. That would be very interesting. These beasts are really as thick as mud. Nice, we didn't lose any experience. That's our aim to not lose experience. Now let's heal up. Luckily, we have a lot of meat. It's going to go down quite fast because. It only gives 15 health. Not a lot, but still not bad. Okay. Only 3? Normally there were more, I believe. Yeah, with one-handed we are much, oh, much better. So only for 3 mind crawlers we needed 3 Templars. Three gores and the uh, guard and us. Asgun, do you have anything? Of course. Now let's venture ourselves inside. Oh, we cannot walk with a with a torch. I wish that would was an option. Being one-handed. Okay. There are a lot more than in the beginning. Damn it. Okay. It's... Oh, we didn't save. I'm so stupid as usual. We are going to... Oh, there are two now. For some reason. Weird. There are two this time. Or was one of them from here? have to heal real fast. There are a lot of them actually here. Yeah, that's why they, it's their nest. I don't know if originally there are so many. I believe once we open the gate there are a lot more that spawn. Probably they don't aggro because of the reduction in the aggro range. Might be. At least four more up there. Come here you beastie. One-handed we can crit, and we have a combo that we can attack faster. Two-handed is very good if we deal no damage to something. Yeah, and if you if you mess up the combo, there is a penalty. I have that activated. That's why it's looking like we do nothing while we get hit. I mean, but for sure we do. We try to fight with the monsters. There is another mind crawler up there. Wow, we one shot it. Or was it a double hit? Yeah, falling down. The crate is so awesome. That's when we are going to go mage. I don't know if they actually ended something with the mage. The playstyle or so. Oh, quiet here. We will level up for sure. Wow, we'll have so many learn points. And I forgot if there are some hidden stuff here. Probably not. Oh, they critted. It took so much health of us. 
looks like they can crit also. Mm, the orcs are going to be very hard then. If they can crit. I believe they are going to fight different now also, not like before. Yeah, we took everything that they had. Little bit of light, probably we should have used a spell, a lightning spell, right? Not lightning, but light spell. Let's see if we have one. Yeah, we have a light. Ah, so much better now. Right at the end, but still. We got brave enough to, to use it. Ah, uh, the mind crawler queen is going to make problems to us, right? It doesn't look hard. We can beat her. So oh, that's it. I wish that they actually did something with the mind crawl of queen that it would be stronger or do something more than that. Then just sit and And that was it. We leveled up. We got the Mind Crawler Queen. Diggers are safe to be here. Let's proceed. I, I, I'm curious, what are those things? Those pipes. How did they get implemented here? Because it looks advanced. No clue what that could be. Is it human made or is it from the Mind Crawlers? Maybe that built from the mind crawlers that they can get to the surface yeah they have a lot of ore here all they have to do is just be careful where they dig because the mine is completely safe practically we are done in, into the mine now we can beat everyone that we can get their experience and move on but as I said that's a bit of not the, the, the way the game was intended to be done so Found the crawler nest. Yes, we did. Now go back to the camp and finish this mission. Korakalam will be waiting for you. May the sleeper awaken. Yeah, may he awaken. I found the nest of the queen. I thank you in the name of the entire brotherhood. May the sleeper continue to hold his protective hand over you. May the sleeper. May the sleeper awaken, yeah. I found the nest of the queen. You've shown courage and spirit. We need people like you. May the sl That's it. Ask Anne. What about you, my friend? Be a threat anymore. That's good news. I'll just send a messenger to Thoris. That's it. Okay, it looks like that's it. Now we can go to the Ian guy, inform him that his mine is safe. If he cares, no clue if he does. The light is not bad. It only depends how you are looking or how the camera is aimed at. But it does make nice light. A lot of juicy experience here. I believe now we can become a mage, fire mage, or magician of fire if I'm not mistaken. Once we go to the camp we have to walk to the act camp anyway and that, that's on the way to the old camp. I cannot believe how easy the minecrawler queen was. Hey you! I found the nest! Then we'll finally have peace and quiet here again. 
No offense. Good work, boy. Here, take this crate of beer for your efforts. Crate of beer? Strong beer six. What's that? Different beer than the others or Strong beer, yeah, that's different. The beer is normal and this one increases life. That's a new addition or I've never paid attention to it. Oh, the light went out. But we have more spells in case we need and we have to remember to use them in the dark spots. Because that's what they are for. We are going to need some ore once we join the, the circle of fire. Because there are some spells that we have to buy. From the circle of fire, from circle of water and from the depth camp. The loonies have some powerful spells. Can we go up this way? I don't believe it, right? Oh, actually we can. Good, very good. So many merchants here. Three. Oh. Hey, you did a good job with the crawlers. You deserve to be admitted as a guard now. Just go over to the old camp and speak to Thoris about it. Very good, thank you. Wait. We will do that. We will talk to Thoris. Oh, look at the Templars. Yeah, that's what I meant with more NPCs here, like more Templars or some camps or people waiting to go into the mine. Have you enough of the potion for the great invocation of the sleeper? No. You have enough now. Thanks to the shadow of commerce from the old camp. The barrier. Oh, the sun is up there. The barrier looks very interesting to me. I, I know that you guys heard a couple of times about it, but could be much, much better. This is made in the Engine 5, so Unreal Engine 5. Powerful tool. So now we have to go to, through this forest. There are snappers. We are not going to go to the snappers yet. We have a chance to take the revenge on them. Which I'm very sure we could actually kill them because we beat the Shadow Beast. But some experience we can take with us. And money. We will need some money. More scavengers. Come here, you beastie. Oh, blood flies. They are there also stuck. Sooner or later we will have to clear some stuff. There are lurkers on the other side of the river. We can tank so many hits now. Unbelievable how fast you get powerful here. But it's very pleasant. Also thinking of the game that how old it is. It's more than perfect in my eyes. The childhood game of my youth. Of course it has some flaws, but back then there were no such good games. I mean with the atmosphere and everything that it creates, not only go there and do that, those NPCs had cycle lives and so on way back. Here should be a wolf, right? Okay, we can kill those and then we are almost done with the forest, only the snappers and Rolls and goblins, but that we can do later on. Get down, small rat. Okay, here should be something, right? Yeah, here was a camper, a hunter, looked like, but he left. Was he afraid of the forest? I remember back then I was so afraid of the forest. 
We still don't one shot them without a crit. <coughs> Unbelievable. Here I believe there are some monsters also. Some scavengers. Some blood flies. Get down. So there I believe there are some monsters also, right? We should check that. I don't know if we should kill also the lurkers back there. Let's see, can we do... Oh, we can swim with a weapon drone. Why does it say E, lurker? Can we talk with the lurkers or what? Oh, actually that's very good. We get a lot of experience from them. And then we might level up. We need a lot of, for the mana also. We have to improve our mana pool. Even to in the second chapter or third chapter, we might be quite weak with the magic. Down. Oh, and lizards. What, what's up with this bitch? Black gob... Wow, lots of black goblins. We might be able to deal with them. We don't take a lot of damage, which is very nice. Let's see what happens here. There are so many. Okay, that's reckless of us. We cannot do them yet. Can we actually lure only one or two? We have to clear to kill very lots of them. They have nothing, okay. They can create the little monsters. We have to kill so many of them, how are we going to achieve that? We need a lot more power. But if we are here, we can actually clear them. Get down. Down and give me your experience. Wow, that was lucky. Was zero skill, just luck. Tell you that. Only a wooden spoon here. Okay, essence and the poker again. Yeah, healing is going to take a while, but we better do that here and save the potions for later. These potions, we cannot really get a lot of them. But I think at this rate we are almost done with the goblins. Three more. One more. We should be able to kill it. Nice. What can we do? Oh, there is also a cave quite hidden. If you didn't play the gothic before, I'm going to show you where it is. I didn't know about it also for a long while when I was a young guy playing the gothic, enjoying the setting, the value of mines, the penal cuddling. Oh, there's a goblin that spawned there, okay. And here it is. Here is a cave. Usually there is a lurker. Probably it cut out. Telekinesis, a very good spell. Hmm, was it there nothing or I just double press it? Oh, there are stuff. 
Oh, that's a nice hidden cave. From here it looks so obvious, but for up from outside you have seen it's not so obvious. Now we can head to the old mine. The old camp, sorry, we, we have been into the old mine. The goblins are strong in this Gothic 1 and in Gothic 2. They are sadly very weak. But for that the lurkers are stronger and the lizards. Yeah, the map is not so huge here. But it's just perfect, as big as it needs to be packed with stuff to do. There we have a couple things that we can kill. <coughs> and we might level up inside the camp also. We will get so many mon so much money from hunting. Oh we have been up here. Right? We killed the wolves, we flew to the chests. But this side looks quite safe. Only couple snappers on black, troll, uh, black goblins, a troll, and some harpies left. Oh, and some bandits actually. Don't forget about the bandits, the forgotten bandits. Why did we light the torch? No reason to. And it looks like we are going to become a. Guard or a fire mage. Okay. Hey, I'm glad you're here. Thoris wants to see you. What does he want? I'm sure he'll tell you soon enough. Yep, thank you. But it's weird that we advance in, into the ranks so fast. Well, Diego, very powerful shadow, remains a shadow. Unless he's. Oh! Okay. Hey, have you heard the news? In extreme over here. They're on stage over there. Hurry, otherwise you miss the gig. Oh yeah, they added in extreme again in this version because it's not an official version. My esteemed ore barons, honored guards, shadows, and diggers, it gives me great honor to present in extremo. Beautiful. Glad that they did it. Oh, the fire looks so nice. Very nice. They got it into the game. Diego? Why the song is so beautiful? Cannot stay here, we have to escape the colony. We can still hear the song. You have something to tell me? Yes. What you did in the mine not only shows some courage, but it also proves your strength and your fighting skills. I'm ready to accept you into the ranks of the guards. I'm giving you a chance. What do you say? Oh, we can tell him from here, okay? Interested in the path of magic. Well, in that case, maybe you should talk to Caristo. He taught Milton. I'm sure there's nothing to stop you. Oh, we can still join the guards. Man, the song is so... Beautiful. Now oh, we can tell Raven. And soon we will have access to everything in here. I just thought I'd report in. Good. I like being kept up to date. They now want a mind crawler queen's eggs, so they can brew a potion that will enable them to contact the sleeper. I have the eggs with me. Very interesting. I wonder if it will work. Bring the eggs to the temple. I just thought good. They now want a mind. Very Don't give us anything. Hey you. What kind of quest is that? I just thought I'd then go and let's talk about something else instead. Yeah, that's weird. 
Is it even a quest? Yeah, uh, there's... And it's weird that they all simply give the Minecrawler eggs to them without even asking something in return. Doesn't seem as a... cut throws as they seem, the old camp, towards the sect camp. Oh, I remember. We have someone here. We have someone here. My friend. Welcome to the colony, remember us? Yeah. I've come to stuff your big mouth for you. <sighs> well, come here and give it a try, Sonny. Now you're done for. <laughs> you little bastard, you deserve it. As you beat us in the beginning of the game, remember? Yeah, I bet you remember now. We gave you a welcome to the colony as well. You'll be sorry for that. Oh, that's better. We should have done that much earlier. I forgot about him. We forgot about bullies that he bullied us. Now he got a portion of his own recipe. Next time you pay attention. Such a beautiful weapon he had. We forgot about it. Damn it. Oh, Milton. We have heard what you achieved in the old mine. Without the mine crawlers, ore mining has become much safer. Caristo knows of your achievements too. He wishes to speak to you. Go to him. See you later. Yep, see you later. Who's that? Christo? Oh, he looks different, much different now. Tell me, what is it like to be a magician? We are magicians of fire. We are the servants of Enos, the highest. The voice of Sardas. Our magic is a gift from the gods. We've been chosen to act as priests, tutors, and judges. It's a gift which is a constant burden to us, a task which determines our lives. I'd like to enter the magic circle. So you want to become a magician of the circle of fire? Hmm, many have wanted to join us, but throughout the years I've only taken one as my apprentice. All the others have failed. Your spirit is mature and ready to join us. If you want to become a magician, I must test you first. Let me know when you're ready for the test. I'm up for it. Just test me. Good. You have served the Brotherhood in the Swamp. Have you not? Yes. Hmm, what is the name of our god? Enos. Enos. Hmm. Which is the highest virtue of all? Ooh, that I have no clue. Humility in the face of magic. Hmm. You have replied well and rightly. I shall teach you the. Oh, thank you. We didn't know that we knew the answers. Magic. Well, you will take the ancient vow. Your church looks poor, very poor. We are gathered here today to ordain a servant of fire. Now take the oath of fire. I swear by the might of the gods. I swear by the might of the gods. I swear by the force of the holy fire. I swear by the force of the holy fire. That my knowledge and my deeds from now on and forever shall be one with the flame. That my knowledge and my deeds from now on and forever shall be one with the flame. Until my body shall return to the realm of Beliar and the fire of my life be extinguished. Until my body shall return to the realm of Beliar and the fire of my life be extinguished. Why would we go to Beliar, not to Enos? By uttering the words of the oath, you have now entered into a bond with the fire. Wear this robe is a sign of the eternal bond. Okay, is it better? Yeah, it's... Ooh, we have to be careful, that's not better. We are not a guard. The guard would get more protection to fight with the goblins and stuff. So many fire magicians here that have no purpose. Sadly. I need more magic power. 
I can help you to increase your power. What use you make of it is up to you. Right before we do that. We need to learn the circle, right? Oh, we can buy a better. Master, I'd like to wear the high robe of fire. You are not ready yet. Come back when you've learned more. Ooh, okay. Please explain the meaning of the magic circles. Of course. The circles symbolize your share of the magic. They stand for knowledge, skill, and the learning of new magic spells. You must pass through each circle before you can join the next. Many hours of learning are required, and you'll need much experience to reach the higher circles. But your efforts to reach them will be rewarded with new and powerful spells each time. However, the circles of magic are more than that. They are part of your life. They will always be with you. Make them part of you. To understand their might, you need to recognize your own. Okay. I am NLP. That's to enter the that's tough. Of the magic circles means learning to use magic wounds. Each rune contains the structure of a special magic spell. By using your own magic powers, you'll be able to cast the magic of the rune. But in contrast to the magic scrolls, which are magic formulas as well, the magic power of the rune ensures that the structure of the spell endures. Every rune is a source of magic power, which you can fall back on any time. Your own magic power is used up when you use a rune, just as with a spell scroll. With every circle you enter, you learn to use further runes as well. Use the power of the runes to recognize yourself. Uh, those are so expensive, I forgot about it. You have learned to understand the runes. Now is the time to deepen this understanding. When you join the second circle, you will learn the foundations of stronger battle spells, and above all, the secret of healing. But you need to learn much if you want to recognize the true secrets of magic. You know that you can use every rune as often as you like until you've used up all of your own powers. But before you act, think about the point of your actions. You have obtained powers with which you may easily conjure up death and destruction. I like it. A true magician only uses magic when it is necessary. Understand the situation. Then you'll recognize the power of the runes. Oh, the third? Not yet. The third circle of magic is one of the most important steps in the life of a magician. Once you've reached it, you'll cease to be a seeker. You have already come far on the path of magic. You have learned to use the runes. This knowledge is the foundation for your further path. Use the runes with deliberation. You may use a rune or not, but you must decide on one of these possibilities. Do not hesitate to use your powers as soon as you've made your choice. Understand your path. Then you'll recognize the power of the decision. Can I teach us the first right? Circle. I can't teach you anything. You don't have. What? You can teach us the fourth level. Okay. I want to. So, no. fireball. We need. We have no money. Luckily, we can sell direct to him. One. Who we sell to you? One we need. Luckily, we have a lot of stuffs to sell. Next, we don't need poker, crossbow. Okay, we need those things. We can sell the armors. We don't need them, right? But first, let's just buy what we need. Fireball. Firebolt we don't need, right? Killing and light. Ah, let's buy it, just to have it. Don't tell me that's Storm of Fire. Yeah, they're, they are very cheap. I want to... We need mana for that. Ah, luckily we had a lot of money. 25, we need to level 2 times. What do we have here? Fireball, mana cost one. Those are chargeable. Fireball is chargeable, or? Oh, there's a lot of damage. 
Healing is very good and light. How does it look? Ah. Stop your magic. Sorry. <laughs> smart decision. Yeah, I know I'm smart. So we are a magician of fire. We managed to impress them, enjoy them, fin finally. So when we need more money, we have to come back here. I believe in the third chapter, the beginning of the th third chapter, to buy the the next uh, robe. That's after we go to the the sect camp. So. I'm going to make a cut here because we finally achieved what we wanted. We became a fire magician and we also defeated a mind crawler. So from now on we have our own light, we don't need torches. Yeah, that looks very good. We will need more power, I mean more mana. We only have 5 in total. And we need to level up 2 times at least. So I'm going to make a cut here. Thank you very much guys for joining me. I hope you will have fun. I'll see you in the next episode. Be cool and bye bye.